Hello YouTubers, Merry Christmas, and welcome to Day 7 of Season 2 of the 12 Days of Christmas Cars Diecasts. Today we're going to take a look at Boost, one of the delinquent road hazards Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> Boost is a purple and black 1999 Nissan Silvia S15 who happens to be the leader of the delinquent road hazards from Nitropolis and was voiced by Jonas Riveria. During his appearance in the first Cars film, he, along with Wingo, DJ, and Snotrod, were driving along the interstate, and they pulled up alongside Mac, who was very sleepy, and so they decided to play chickens with him by tossing him back and forth across the lane causing Lightning McQueen to slip out of the trailer and right in the middle of incoming traffic. During the epilogue of cars, they were shown speeding by Sheriff and Sheriff turned his siren on and chased them down and locked them into the impound lot. And they were even sentenced to I'd say community service with Bessie to repave a portion of the road that didn't need repaved and they even got tar all over them. And in the Cars video game in 2006, the year after Lightning McQueen decided to stay in Radiator Springs, they would then they, in the level delinquent road hazards, they were blocked Lightning's path by telling them that the road was close to him, but Lightning still wasn't getting it. So Lightning challenged them to a race, thus they accepted it. And, and at the end of the race, Boost even gave Lightning one of his extra boost tanks. Then in another level, High Speed Heist, they were hired by Chick Hicks to rob Mac, who didn't have lightning in his trailer, only his gear. Then then the next day, the sheriff was informed that Mac had been robbed by Boost and the delinquent road hazards. Then he and Lightning chased them down and locked them in the impound. And they confessed that it was all Chick's idea. And in the car storybook collection content, Deputy Mater, they were they were once again speeding through Radiator Springs, and they were stopped by Mater, who was wearing a white deputy door, more, and and then they were taught the this the lessons of the speeding, the traffic light, red lights, and the speed limits. And thus, they decided to stay in town and help the other townsfolk. In the Cars, to, in the Mater's Tall Tales episode, 
they were once again speeding through Red Eater Springs and drifting, and Sheriff had to chase them down yet again. It was unknown if they were caught or not. And despite not seeing in the... And despite not appearing in Cars 2, they were... Boost, along with the other delinquent row hazards, were unlocked as playable characters. And Boost was even, even unlocked in the car, and Boost and the other tuners were even unlocked in the Cars Fast as Lightning app. Now, during his diecast releases, he has been released countless times as a single, two packs, singles, and multi packs. And he was even released, in his first release, was in a two pack back in 2006, along with Snot Rod, and has been released countless times. Now, take note I got this boost from the 5-pack along with DJ with the green stripes and regular Cars 1 Lightning McQueen to replace the other boost that was broken. So now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his grumpy facial expression, his bright purple paint job in headlights and black front bumper and black on the hood in the side view mirrors and on both sides we've got the chrome silver gray rims and the purple circular border lining and the his name boost in purple well, on his doors and the black on the fenders and on and on the back we've got his boost tanks and his black spoiler and on the back side we've got his exhaust pipes and his red taillights and his license plate saying boost nitro police and underneath it says Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand Mattel and now let's compare him to the other 1999 Nissan Silvia S15 Kabuto from the Mater's Tall Tales episode, Tokyo Mater. Now here are some similarities and differences. Both are a 1999 Silvia S15 made by Nissan. Both are tuners. Both are antagonists of the Cars franchise. But here are some similarities and differences. This one's Kabuto, and this one is Boost. Purple, uh, I mean, chrome silver gray and, and black and red. Purple and bright purple and black. Both have the side view mirrors. Spoiler on top. No spoiler on top. Both have, both spoilers are different. Red circular border lines on the chrome silver gray rims on the black wall tires. Purple circular er, border line lines on the chrome silver gray rims. Both have black on the fenders. License plate? No license plate. Just the tail lights. Two exhaust pipes, one exhaust pipe, and that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other tuners. Here's, here we have DJ, Snot Rod, Wingo, Chisaki. And Harumi. 
And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which tuner is your favorite? And which car for day 8 do you wish for me to review for day 8 tomorrow next? Which all I have left is Sergeant Hind gear. So hopefully I'll get 4 more Disney Cars diecasts for the last four episodes of season two. But other than that, let me know what you guys think, as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!